Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. During the Escuela de Fuego 2 exercise at Salinas del Bebedero, San Luis, the Argentine Army conducted tests on the CP-30 Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, with Pampero rockets. Developed in Argentina by the Scientific and Technical Research Institute for Defense, CITADIF, and manufactured by Fabricaciones Militares, this system has been in active service since 2012. Traditionally utilizing 127mm rockets, the CP-30 showcased its adaptability by employing 105mm Pampero rockets during this exercise, demonstrating significant operational versatility. Renowned for its capability to launch rockets of varying calibers, including the 127mm rockets for medium and long-range strikes and now the 105mm Pampero rockets for short-range missions, the CP-30 features three modules, each housing nine launcher tubes for 127mm rockets. Additionally, it can be reconfigured to accommodate up to 54 tubes for 105mm rockets, underscoring its modular design and increasing its operational flexibility. Equipped with an advanced guidance system incorporating GPS, a magnetic compass, and a portable weather station, the CP-30 ensures precise rocket launching. With a firing rate of one rocket every half a second and a loaded weight of up to 17 tons, it enables rapid and effective strikes, reaching distances of up to 30 km with 127mm rockets and 10 km with 105mm rockets. Development of the CP-30 commenced in 2007 within Cytidus Propulsion Department, culminating in a four-year intensive development phase aimed at creating an innovative and operationally efficient rocket launch system. Following successful test firings in 2010, the Argentine Army officially adopted the CP-30 in December 2012, forming the Grupo de Artilleria de Sistemas de Lanzadores Multiples 601, GALM 601, and significantly enhancing Argentina's defense capabilities. Notable features of the CP-30 include its mobility and rapid deployment capabilities. Mounted on Fiat 697N or Iveco Tracker 6x6 trucks, the system can be swiftly relocated and prepared for launch, minimizing vulnerability to enemy counterattacks. This agility, coupled with its high rate of fire, renders the CP-30 a valuable asset for the Argentine Army, effectively meeting the demands of modern military operations. Moreover, ongoing innovations, such as the development of precision-guided projectiles like the MU GAP by Cytadif, further enhance the CP-30's capabilities. International interest in the CP-30 was evidenced by the visit of the Bolivian Minister of Defense in 2015, indicating potential for export sales. The recent demonstration during the Escuela de Fuego 2 exercise underscores the CP-30's pivotal role in the modernization of Argentine artillery, offering an adaptable and potent platform for various combat missions. That's all for now. See you later.